Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're experiencing issues with no internet access on your computer after resetting your router. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in ipconfig followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen and hit enter. Successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here and restart your device at this time. And now that we're back into Windows, hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt a network reset. So you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we do our next step, you will need to restart your computer. So just keep that in mind. And once you restart your computer, you will need to enter those credentials back in in order to get back on the internet. So open up the search menu, type in network reset. Best match should say network reset. Go ahead and open that up. This will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And then you can close out of here. And then I would suggest restarting your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.